talk more about the app we're joined now by the app developer Kabelo Matlobohwane very good evening to you thank you so much for your time I mean you have probably looked at the many challenges that the education system in South Africa faces before coming up with the an app that's been described as the first of its kind um, in South Africa. Talk to us about what prompted and sparked this idea. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity and good evening to your viewers. So I'm a teacher myself uh, by passion and profession. Um, so I have been teaching in South Africa and coming from a university into the teaching profession, I was puzzled by how colleagues spent such a huge amount of time on administration tasks, I could not differentiate between myself as a teacher and an administrator. But what really worried me was the fact that I knew technology could do this. I just did not know what technology to use. So when I did a bit of research, I found that there was no technology that could do um, what we're doing. And I thought to myself, well, why not do it? At that time, I was very brave. I was just, I had just finished a training by the Tulima Donzella Foundation on how to be an epic leader who, uh, who becomes the change that they want to see the community. And lucky enough, I was invited by the Trevor Noah Foundation as well as Yali Southern Africa to, particip to participate in a program where they were training teachers to be entrepreneurs. And that's where my idea had the opportunity to be developed into what we see today. Um, then furthermore, I also got further support from organizations like the MasterCard Foundation as well as the SAB Foundation who gave funding to make the idea a reality. And that, of course, was, was the key, hey, the funding to make this app a reality. As you look at this project, I mean, you see it from the perspective of a teacher and an entrepreneur. What did it take to, to get to this platform? How much did you have to push to convince your funders um, that this is a viable idea worth investing in? To be honest, it was very tough. Um, for the past about three to four years, I had to take a break, leave, go to Taiwan, where I managed to find the time and the comfort and the peace of mind to finish the project. If somebody asks me if I would do it again, I would say no, because <laughs> it's really challenging. But I want to also thank uh, for you guys, because uh, whenever I think we had some attention from the media before, and whenever you guys speak to us like this, you gave us the encouragement to think that this is possible. Whenever we speak to education experts and we speak to colleagues about this, they give us the encouragement to know that it's possible. And because for us, being leaders means saving people. We just had to soldier on. And at the end of the day, we did a lot of research. We did not have um, enough support to do the development that we wanted. So we had to even go at some point to another country to find people to help us develop the project. Mm -hmm. But what I'm proud of is the fact that Everyone that leads this project right now is Southern African, and we are all under the age of 35. We have come together from different professions. We've got an IT expert, we've got a marketing and design expert, we've got a business development expert, and a group of teachers who are my colleagues who have helped us to research, develop this thing, and get it to where it is today. We were shocked to realize that there is no other solution like ours that can mark handwritten test papers and mark all types of questions with the accuracy that we provide. So it's really something that we don't know, but I think by God, everything is possible. Absolutely. As you talk about doing the extensive research, collaborating with other teachers, your colleagues, um, what did you then uncover what kind of problems does it solve marking for one but um just listening to the reaction so far i would imagine that it's quite versatile when it comes to the depth that it can cover absolutely absolutely so what we did here is that um we first came across a study by the oecd which said that Teachers in South Africa were planning to leave the profession within five years of having joined it because of the stress. So when we further read into this document, we realized that marking was identified as a stressor by 73% of the participants. But then we asked ourselves, I mean, there are so many apps that are already existing, so why couldn't the teachers use these apps? And that's when we came across another study by UNICEF, which said that in Africa, 
over 80 percent of school going kids do not have access to devices which then are needed for them to benefit from the other um, existing apps so now we had to develop an app that can work without students needing to have access to the internet or even having access to cell phones or smart devices but we also then got to the realization later that even in our schools um, teachers have access to a, to a limited uh, model of printers which is usually outdated so we had to now when we build our app we had to work with a group of re international researchers to make sure that we build an app that can meet those requirements and once we had done that we had to come now and struggle with the issue of handwritings and that's when we had to build our own chatbot but because we did not have enough data mm -hmm. we had to look at international databases for handwriting so that the app can be able to identify that once we were done we were able to develop an app that can give detailed analysis to a point whereby if a student uses our app for one year, we can even be able to predict how much, how, how, what the scores are they going to get in grade 12, are they going to pass grade 12 or not, what subjects do they need to focus on and what specific topics in those subjects they need to focus on. So that's what we came up with today, which is yep. much more than what we even thought we were going to build. It's very encouraging. Congratulations to you and your team. Thank you so much for speaking to us this evening, Gabelo Matlapohane, speaking to us there, who is, uh, of course, uh, the man who um, is the app developer of this incredible app that helps advance teachers' marking and insight.